We are travelling around Perth schools over the next few weeks, cooking 5,000 meals for those who need the most. And Lisa Fernandez is at one of those schools this morning in Woodvale. Oh. Morning, Lise. Morning, that was brilliant. I just said to one of the girls, if the camera comes on you, <coughs> smile and wave. And she goes, what, with a knife in my hand? I said, really good point, that's excellent. Look, I'm at Woodvale Secondary uh, College here and they are participating in 5,000 Meals. It's a project which is fantastic. They're taking food from places like Food Bank, making meals and giving it to the needy and they're doing it uh, with the help of chefs like uh, Pete Manifis here from Encontro. Morning, Pete. Morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm fantastic. And this is such a great initiative. Look, we're going to chat with you about it. You know, one thing I learned about chefs, Tim, they really love getting up early. Love it. It's one of their favourite things being on live TV. But the best early. part about coming here was yeah. there was coffee. You know, Correct, yeah. And, and the was, kids made it. That's yeah, right, it students too. making coffee. Mm. Look, they're doing their food prep now. We're going to let you know what they're going to be cooking and tell you all about 5,000 Meals. It's a fantastic initiative. I'll be back with all the weather details and the students shortly. Say bye, Stay guys. Stay away from those knives, knife Lise. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Might need a few coffees there, the kids too. Thank you, Lise. OK, right, we are at Woodvale <laughs> Secondary College, OK? So do you know what I was just doing? I was just talking to the kids about what they're going to do when they leave school because they're in Year 12. Not one of them said journalism. <laughs> but nonetheless, OK. Very sad. Anyway, uh, we're at Woodvale Secondary College and they've got a fantastic initiative called 5,000 Meals, right? Yep. Chef uh, Peter from Encontro is here. Pete, tell us about the initiative. Uh, 5,000 Meals, it, um, it, we, they cook food for the homeless. Yes. So there's um, this great program, the, these lovely ladies out at Kath McDougall and uh, all the guys at Woodvale and all the schools are involved. All the chefs from around town, they jump involved, start cooking and, and help show these guys, not only do we feed the, the, the local homeless people, yep. but we also teach these kids how to, how to cook food as well, you know, so we're giving them basic life skills. You and know? you're doing this out of the goodness of your heart. Always out of the goodness of my heart. You're a good man. I and what are they cooking? Actually, no. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi, Scott. What are you cooking today? Uh, today we are making Marlon Albacore. Okay, and what's that? I have no idea. Excellent. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Now they're doing the food preparation now, uh, as you can see. And what this food is, it's going to be packaged up and uh, and and sent to, like Pete just said, uh, people in need. Uh, well, oh, Pete, I'll just walk up and have a chat to the kids yep. now. Again, the food prep's taking place. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. Okay. What are you ladies doing here? Um, we're just concaves the tomatoes, now we're dicing them up. Right yes. For the, um, going with the marlin. Going with the marlin. And yeah. so this recipe, uh, you're obviously not familiar with it. No. Uh, but are, are you enjoying being part of 5,000 Meals? Yeah, it's a great opportunity to um, help out a cause. It's just great, yeah. Good experience. Aren't these kids really good? None of them are rowdy. None of them are throwing food <laughs> yeah. around. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> I know, I know. OK. And, uh, ladies, you're doing more prep as well. Tell us um, why you want to be part of this. Um, I think it's just a really good chance to give back to the community and also just raise awareness of, like, the need in Australia with less fortunate people. Absolutely. And what do you like about it? Tell me. What about 5,000 Meals? Why have you decided to be part of it? I like learning the skills on how to cook and, being, and knowing that it's going to homeless people that need help. Oh, isn't that fantastic? OK, so you're cooking this marlin recipe. It gets packaged up. Pete, you can come back down. And then how does it actually get to get to the... Um, food Rescue gets out to um, all the different uh, yeah. communities and all the different programs, yeah. all the different places. Um, so Food Rescue will come pick it up uh, and then take it out. They package it up, all packaged in yeah. little, little, little containers for them. Yes. So they do individual portions. And, and over the course of a time, we need to do this every day of the year if we can. You know, we, we do it yeah. for a short period of time, yeah. but no. we really need to, we need to get behind it and I've been saying to the guys the last couple of years yeah. imagine if our school programs ran like this for, for, for everything like oh. so we're actually feeding the homeless you know we shouldn't have a, a homeless no, food right. problem in WA no, you're right. you know what I mean so that's what, we, that's what we're going to be doing so. and I love it okay yeah. and knife skills just quickly where'd you learn those good knife skills uh, um, home ec teacher. Home ec <laughs> 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 home teacher. Because look at them, they're doing so well. All right, look, I'll be back with all the weather details shortly. Uh, from Woodvale Secondary College, and this is just one of the schools participating in 5,000 Meals Project. I'm going to be going to a series of schools over the next few weeks to show you what our students are doing. Uh, these are Year 12 students, but they're students of all ages, and I think they're doing a tremendous job. So weather details shortly, live from Woodvale Secondary College, with the knives. Oh, no, put the knives down and give the TV a wave. Go on. Put them down. OK, there we go. No, because I made them do it with the knife before. It wasn't safe. No. It wasn't safe culinary kitchen skills. No, something like that. Thank you, Lise. So we're going to see some live cooking on TV and I'll have the weather details. Good.